Kevin Joseph, a.k.a. King Charisma, a.k.a. The Charismatic Wonder Man, a.k.a. Chicka, 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 Black Slim Shady, how y'all doing? Welcome to another new episode of Unboxing Sessions. Hope everybody's enjoying the new year. Um, if you have not seen my last episode, we unboxed the Black Clover Seasons 1 through 2 Holiday Collection, which includes 102 episodes of the anime series. You're going to get special goodies, and that's pretty much it. Um, for this episode on session number 117, we're going to unbox another collector's edition item of mine uh, that I bought yesterday, I believe, from GameStop. Now, this is based on an anime and a manga series that I really got into, I think, in 2019, around the end of it, which I need to get back into it because it is a really great anime if you have not seen it. Um, and I was really intrigued about it because this is on a special game system on the Nintendo Switch, and I have the Nintendo Switch. It's a fighting game, and I looked at it, and I was like, well, was that a good price? And I was like, you know what? I need to go and get it. It came out sometime early last year, I believe. So I was like, you know what? What the hey? Spend a little money. So we are going to unbox My Hero 1's Justice 2. Oh, let me say it right. My Hero 1's Justice 2 Collector's Edition. This is based on the anime and the manga series My Hero Academia. That's, I'm sorry, big words. My Hero Academia, based on that. Um, so it's, um, like I said, this is the collector's edition. Uh, this is on the Nintendo Switch. Um, the goodies that you're going to be getting in this is you're going to get the full game. You're going to get an exclusive uh, 20, 20 cil centimeter LED figurine of Deku. You're going to get the My Hero Academia Shikishi um, comic booker poster, whatever it is. And then you're going to get a Deku and Overhaul keychain and game badge. That's pretty neat. And you get a collector's box. So this is the sequel to My Hero 1's Justice, which I still haven't even got a chance to play this one yet. Um, but it's a fighting game. This is the sequel. So I really cannot wait to get in touch with this uh, game. But the collector's edition, like I said, this is the goodies that you're going to be getting. So you want to know what's going to be in this bad boy? I'm going to show you. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so as you can see, this is everything from the My Hero 1's Justice 2 Collector's Edition. I'm um, just going to break it down for y'all. You're going to get the steel book of the set. So that's pretty cool. You got your main character and uh, Deku, um, Izuku Midoriya, also known as Deku. I forgot his name. Like I said, I haven't been catching up with the anime or manga, so I cannot wait. But y'all can let me know who he is in the comments. That would be great. And then I'm hearing that's Overhaul, the guy with that weird looking mask, clown mask. And then I don't know who he is. I forgot his name. But there are the villains. So you got your heroes and your villains. But anyway, you got your steel book. Um, nothing too fancy there other than some good artwork. Um, this is on the Nintendo Switch, by the way, so you can put your game in here. So I'm definitely going to do that. Then you got your game itself. I'm not going to open it up or anything because, I mean, it's nothing really fancy, but you can put your game into the Steelbook. And here's the back cover, just telling you the battle for justice continues. You're going to get over um, 40 playable characters, so that's going to be neat. Like I said, this is a sequel to uh, the first game, My Hero 1's Justice. So I'm definitely going to play that. But yep, you got that. And then you're going to oops, you're gonna get a My Hero Academia Shikishi. I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty uh, neat. It looks like if you're looking through a comic book. One thing, I, I, when I f saw the first season of this show... It kind of feels like if you are reading a comic book and if you like superheroes, it kind of felt like reading a superhero comic book through the show. So it's pretty cool. 
Um, if you have not seen the show or read the manga, you definitely need to. I haven't read the manga. I only have seen the first season. So you definitely check that out. And then you're going to get some goodies in this thing. Like I said, you're going to get a Deku and um, Overhaul keychain, I believe. So you got your keychains. So you got your keychains. Zoom that in. So that's Deku. And then you got Overhaul. So I'm definitely going to put on my lanyard. And then you got a game badge. So I might put that, I might put that on my Walmart vest. I don't know. And then last but not least, something is on that one. And last but not least, we got our figurine of Deku. And this is supposed to be an LED figurine. So it's supposed to like light up. So let me show you all that. Okay, so after opening up the figurine, this is how it looks. This is uh, Deku um, you know, about to kick someone's ass. Um, the one thing I wish they would have included in, in this um, figurine was the batteries. You have to buy the batteries for it to light up. So I can't light this bad boy, unfortunately, because I do not have the batteries. But maybe on maybe my next... Um, uh, unboxing video when I get the batteries I'll show it to y'all like probably at the beginning or the end of my next unboxing video um, but it's supposed like I said it's supposed to light up um, as you can see it's not lighting up or anything so unfortunately that kind of sucks but anyway look I really like the figurine it looks pretty cool so definitely can't wait to hang this up on my shelf and that's pretty much it this is pretty much it this is all you are getting so, yep. yep. So I hope you guys enjoyed me unboxing the My Hero One's Justice 2 Collector's Edition on the Nintendo Switch. You're going to get the full game and the steel book. You're going to get some nice um, cool keychains. You're going to get a nice game badge. You're going to get the My Hero Academia Shikishi comic book artwork. And then you're going to get this nice, cool LED figurine. Like I said before, can't light it up because you got to have batteries in it. But uh, hopefully on the next episode, I will light this bad boy up and it will look pretty nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also follow me at KingCharisma26 on Instagram at King Charisma 26 on Twitter, at King Charisma 22 on Snapchat, and at King Kev 25 on TikTok, very important. Hopefully you guys can get in touch with my content because I haven't been putting up a lot of stuff, but hopefully I will this year. So definitely uh, get in touch with that. Um, like I said about my music video, I will, uh, for Mask On Mask Off, I will be trying to put it out, hopefully, around this month next month with everything going on with me working so much it's been hard but hopefully i will get a chance to put that up i know i said that in the past before i've just been so busy but um as for the filming you know it's going to be a little bit difficult i'm going to try to see how we're going to film this um with everything going on so um just keep in touch uh, Patreon. Definitely um, follow me on my Patreon account. Please do that. And also do donate between a dollar to five dollars for me because you will be getting exclusive content for me. That would be great. Uh, you know, putting out music videos before the day of the release. Um, exclusive videos of my reactions. You know, a lot of stuff. If you want to join Team Charisma, now is the time to do that. So please do that. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode, and I'll see y'all next time another episode of Unboxing Sessions. If you smell what the king is cooking, talk to y'all later. Bye-bye, and plus ultra!